Good afternoon, Tony. Tell me about Liverpool and goalkeepers. Um, Liverpool and goalkeepers had some quite successful ones, really. I think. Look at Bruce Cobbler, Nick Clements. You're a fan of Brucey. Yes, I am a fan of Bruce Cobbler. Yeah, definitely. Why? Um, what did he do? Did he, he change was, the game? I think he did. Yeah, I spoke to a few people who were around in the game before I was and said like he changed the game in a way that he was. Um, he would come off. He said people never used to come off the line before Bruce Cobbler come. And he was coming taking balls like outside the um, you know past the penalty spot and stuff, which was kind of unheard of. And everyone thought he was a little bit ridiculous, but he's, um, he's kind of um, set the president. Yeah. Um, you know, his, his, his famous um, leg wobbles mm -hmm. and the other people in the final. Yeah. Um, no, he's a character, and I was lucky enough when I was when I started Liverpool, he was still a player there. Yeah. So he's someone who, who had experience in training with, and that, and he's a uh, yeah, he's, he's a good guy. And before Brucey, and before Brucey, at Liverpool, do you know anywhere yeah, else? Yeah, yeah, the city of well, Liverpool. Well, my my my, uh, my hero when I was growing up was Neville Southall, um, oh, known as the Bin Man. <laughs> yeah, known as the Bin Man, yeah, and, and the odd carrier as well. Um, but you know, he's. Um, I think he's probably the best keeper in the world at, at the um, when he was in his prime, yeah. and I think he was unlucky um, to be involved in the Everton side, who were uh, doing as well as they were when the time when he got banned from Europe. Stay with Everton for a second. Gordon West in his handbag. Gordon West in his handbag. Yeah. I, I prefer um, I prefer George Wood. All right. Um, <laughs> the, the, the old Scottish blind fella. Uh, um, but now going back to Neville, yeah, I, I think he was the best in the world, and he, he was. He, you know, when he was at the prime and Everton were probably at the best in recent years, he uh, didn't get the chance to kind of fulfil themselves in Europe and I think he did done very well. Uh, you know, obviously they, they won the, the Cup in his Cup yeah. in Rotterdam. Yeah. Um, and you know, you know, obviously things happened and, and um, the English team got banned. So. Yeah. And, and, Liber and Liverpool in history, Elijah Scott, Tommy Lawrence, Flying Pig, mm -hmm. Ray Clements. Yeah, ex Sammy and as well, Tommy Lawrence. Yeah, yeah. In influenced you uh, as a kid, the history um, of these players? Not, not so much those, I must be honest with you. Yeah, I think the main influence was Neville Salto. Right. Um, and when David James arrived? Um, well, competition or...? Uh... I, I'd have liked to have thought so, but no, not really. He was, um, he was, he was you know, he, he played a lot of games for Watford at that point, and I was kind of just starting out my career. Yeah. Um, so he was always kind of quite quite well ahead of me. Yeah. Um, you know, for, for a lot of the criticism he gets, he, he's a very good goalkeeper. I think you know he was a very good goalkeeper then. I think just his his, his makes mistakes were probably highlighted a little bit more. Any time he made one, it was just magnified. Whereas everybody makes them. Um, but no, David James was a very good keeper. Yeah, he, he was a good player to work, work alongside. Good work, um, he was a strong player, um, fantastic athlete. Um, yeah, you know he, he was a good person to start my career alongside. Yeah. And and the, and the keepers that followed you, there's been a there are a dime a dozen at Liverpool in the in this day and age. Yeah. Westerfeld and and so on and Rayner and Dudek. I mean. True. Have, has there been a, 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 an improvement? Do you think since the days of Brucey and Clements? I think yeah. I think I think you've got to improve because the game's got so much quicker and it's changed like yeah. dynamically. So uh, the keepers have to adapt with that. Um, yeah. The balls move these days, you know, the game is like a lot quicker, yeah. um, that's be a lot stronger. Like, yeah, I think the bank keepers are, these days are probably a lot bigger than they were um, 15 years ago, yeah. um, just in stature. Um, Dudek, you know, you know, won the European Cup, played very well. Me and Eugene were lucky enough to be there as well yeah. um, in Istanbul. So, um, you know, I, I think Jersey Dudek um, holds his own amongst the goalkeepers. Goalkeepers are known as crazy. Being in Liverpool, does it make them a little extra crazy, do you think? As a city, does um, it influence them that way? Probably, but I think you'll, if you have a look around, there's not that many actual scouts goalkeepers. Yeah. Um, I don't really know of many who, who played in the who played in the Premiership. I think I might be the only one at yeah. the moment who's played in the Premiership. So, right. um, I think in, in Liverpool maybe you have a lot of people. You know, they, you know they're looking for like you know, forwards. So, you're, you're so, so Liverpool's a bit like Brazil in that respect. That, yeah. that, that, that they, they like to be the flashy goal scorer and attack and, yeah. and the goalkeeping is a, a sort of a, an afterthought. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Right. So uh, I, I just kind of like the script there and slid into the side door and got made myself a little little career. Yeah, you're a, a, a unique niche in, in, in the world of Liverpool and football then, aren't you, Tony? Yeah, well, I think so. Yeah, it was lovely to talk to you. Thanks for taking the time. No problem.